as y'all can tell by the title of this video, I'm actually talking about Akeem Francis and he blew up massive, massive, massive on TikTok. And it's kind of crazy that he is also from the same city as me. I've actually met him a handful of times as well. So it's kind of crazy. My entire intention with this video was to come out and slam the guy for his past, basically expose him, you know, talk about all the terrible things he's done and, you know, go into detail on why I don't think he's a good person. Because I heard some rumors as well and I did some research on some more current things as well. But I soon realized that, you know, people deserve the benefit of the doubt before, you know, before you come into these kind of things, right? I need to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's not actually a bad person, do my research, and then make my decision. So that's exactly what I did. We're going to go over the bad things he's done first. In 2016, he had charges pressed against him for unlawful assault on two people and damaging a bunch of property, like a taxi windshield and some other stuff like that. So he was charged in 2016, and yes, that is absolutely a very, very, very long time ago now, but I'm putting it out there. You, as you can see by the charges, I'm going to blurb a lot of personal information, obviously, out of, you know, privacy and respect for Akeem and his, you know, stuff, as well as the victims that were involved in that. But I knew Akeem through the smile shop, and when my mom passed away, uh, my brother actually got in contact with people there, and they were putting together a team to come help us, you know, clean out my mom's hoard. Right. My mom was a was an awful hoarder. She collected all kinds of garbage, all kinds of just random shit. Right. So she was hoard. She was a hoarder. Right. He helped put together a team through the smile shop and stuff. And my brother didn't like him very much and did some research on him and came to find out that he actually orchestrated a home invasion on his own friends, which sounds absolutely awful. And his justification for that was his friends were getting into drugs, but they wouldn't listen to him. And, you know, they were selling dope. So he was like, well, I'm just going to set them up to teach them a lesson. The two people he gets to do the home invasion are suspected murderers who had apparently stabbed a shopkeeper as well. So, yeah, you can see where that's going. It goes really, really poorly. People get hurt. Akeem was the one who set it all up. And, you know, it's awful, right? It's awful. Akeem has talked about it in his content I've seen and on some other podcasts I had also seen as well and i decided to go through the smile shop reviews to see what other people were saying on the situation as well this one reads akeem francis is a dirtbag that essayed a handicap volunteer i reported this and asked twice for a meeting with the elder but was ignored a lot of nasty people grabbing more than what they need and being inconsiderate of others which i could absolutely see like people are definitely greedy right uh Run by a scammer and a lowlife who takes advantage of people. Wouldn't recommend this service to my worst enemy. Police should be notified about Akeem Francis and how he does nothing for the community and tries to improve his own situations and his family. So those are awful reviews, again, with no evidence to back anything up. But there's a lot of really, really bad reviews as well as some good ones. And my personal experience and what I've seen from the Smile Shop, I didn't like the way that they handled some things. I didn't like some of the stuff that they did. And at that time, I didn't like Akeem Francis either because of the home invasion, because of the charges. He also scammed a family of $250. And allegedly, he thought he was uh, a legal marriage bonder. What are those called? Marriage bondage? I don't know. Of officiary or something? According to what I read, he thought he was legally able to marry people but he was in fact not able to do that and then he didn't comment on you know the situation when global news reached out to him so he scammed a family out of 250 bucks kind of fucked up their their wedding stuff and you know that's definitely a dirtbag move right assaults uh you know the home invasion that's all really really serious stuff and it's really really bad look that's for sure however however okay Akeem Francis seems to have changed his life for the better and changed his ways for the better as well. From what I've seen, his content is absolutely terrible. Absolutely the worst content I've probably ever seen in my entire life. But there's an audience for it because he's obviously blown up huge on TikTok. So people do enjoy it. And I'm going to show you a snippet of his content right now. Baga, baga, baga. I am telling you, I am nothing but... Yeah, baka. 
So I know the majority of my audience is not going to enjoy that type of content. I personally do not enjoy that content. But props to the guy for blowing up big on TikTok. That's definitely not a small feat. I can't find anything that he's done current that's crime related. I can't find him being an asshole or a bad person currently. And it appears he has changed his life. The only thing that I've seen was some grooming allegations that came out where he talks to another woman about the allegations. And apparently, according to what I have understand from my research, is a Chloe Sunderland actually put out the allegations. I've done a handful of videos on Chloe as well. And you really, 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 really cannot believe anything that comes out of Chloe's mouth. If she says it, always take it with a pile of salt because that woman will put out anything and everything in an attempt to smear somebody. She will make things up. She will get her audience to attack people, to bully people, you know, that kind of stuff. But take a look at Akeem's point of view. She said that I sent her pictures five years ago, but she can't tell me where and when. I can tell you five years ago, I was starting my free clothes giveaway. I was helping my, I was doing everything in the chair uh, with my charity work. And you know what she was doing? She's told everybody she was doing drug. She was in that lifestyle. So she's not only uh, falsely accused me, but she's also like actively showing how racist she is by not apologizing, by falsely accusing somebody. So that's all I got to say. Like I make a post and I tagged her in it on Instagram and I wasn't even like, I didn't even mean to. And that's when she's like, oh, you're a fucking, uh, you sent dick pics to me. Uh, don't be tagging me in your videos. And I was like, weren't you literally just fucking messaging me, thanking me for uh, all this shit that I did at the smile shop? You know? So then after that, <clears throat> uh, after that, she's like, making videos on TikTok. This is when she had 1.5 million followers. She had 1.5 million followers making up a lie saying that I was sending her penis pictures. When I asked her that one question, because we did a dual live on Instagram, I asked that one question. Where did we meet? Did we meet at a McDonald's? Did we meet at a party? Where did we meet for me to get your number and for me to start sending you pictures? That's when she started changing it into groomer. Started saying that you're a fucking pedo. Started telling her kids, you guys are fucking underage motherfuckers, right? Underage kids to come to a groomer. If I'm a fucking groomer, you're gonna, she's gonna tell you guys about me and then get you guys to come to my shit. Like, what a bad fucking leader. He also says that she's a racist in that video. But I have not seen any evidence to prove that she is a racist or she's doing this because he was black or anything. As a matter of fact, I can't even actually find the videos where Chloe exposes him, exposes him. It So far, it just looks like allegations being thrown around. And I do know that this is a little bit older news. But again, I don't think Chloe's a racist. I think she's a bad person, not a racist. Akeem. I, I think he's changed for the better. I guess well, time will tell, right? Um, but, you know, I don't think he's a groomer. We need evidence, right? We really need evidence. That's that's the main thing. Evidence is the most important factor. And there just simply isn't any. And while Akeem was a bad person, I think he's changed a lot. And now we can listen to his music as, you know, the end cards play. Oh, God. Hey, yo. Sassy little bucket coming on me, baby. Sassy little bucket. Keep going crazy. Sassy little bucket. 